One of the requirements of the aquarium animation project is to have some air bubbles coming out of the floor of the aquarium and disappearing at the water line and then also a smaller set of bubbles coming out of the fish's mouth and floating up to the top and disappearing at the water line. And to accomplish this, we're going to use the technique of masking. So I have in my library two sets of bubbles, bubbles one, bubbles two. Bubbles one is a little bit larger than bubbles two, and bubbles one is what we'll use coming out of the, out of the floor, and I'm going to have it come out approximately in this area here. Bubbles two will come out of the fish's mouth. So I'm going to add a new layer here. I'm going to call it bubbles. And I need to kind of decide when the bubbles should come out of the floor. I'm going to do it just after basically the fish has started to swim past the area. And that'll give me some time to turn the fish around while the bubbles are floating up the top. And, and these won't necessarily overlap. So I'm going to insert a keyframe here. I'm going to bring bubbles one over. They're a little large, so I'm going to resize them, make them considerably smaller. And position where I want them to start. I'm going to decide basically how long this animation should go. Let's bring it out about 40 or 50 frames. I'm going to insert a keyframe. And I want these bubbles then to float straight up. until they are above the waterline. And I'm going to insert a classic tween. And once they hit the waterline, I want them to disappear, so I'm going to insert a blank keyframe. So there's my bubbles layer. Now if I just play this, we're going to see that as the fish swims past, the bubbles come up, and they're really outside of the aquarium, it looks like. They're coming up beyond the floor and floating above the waterline. And that's not very realistic. So we're going to use a mask to only show the bubbles basically within the water. So I'm going to add another layer. I'm going to call this bubble mask. And I'm going to lock all my layers except for this layer. On that mask layer, I'm going to insert a keyframe. And I'll actually insert another blank keyframe down here. Because I only need the mask to extend as long as the animation. Back on that first keyframe, I'm going to take my rectangle tool. I'm actually going to get a fill of none, and I've got kind of a magenta uh, color here. I'm just going to draw a rectangle. It's basically going to encompass the area that I want to be able to see the bubbles in. And then let's zoom in down here at the bottom. And I'm going to just simply make a couple changes here. I'm going to add a couple points. I'm going to bend my line so it basically conforms to this, this lighter color of our floor. That looks pretty good. And then let's fill it. So if I zoom back out, there is my mask. Now I need to make this a mask. So I'm going to right click on the layer and choose mask. That will lock both layers. If I now test my movie, we see the fish swims by, our bubbles come up out of the floor, and they disappear at the water line. Now I also want to have some bubbles come out of the fish's mouth. So I'm going to do that as I'm turning this fish around over on the bottom left. And I think when he's at the 45 degree view is when I'm going to start these bubbles. So I'm going to insert a keyframe, blank keyframe. I'm going to unlock this layer and bring Bubbles 2 over. Now again, Bubbles 2 are too big. I'm going to resize these. I'm 
And I want them to basically start here at the fish's mouth. Again, decide how long this animation should be. And uh, about 50 frames again should be good. I'm going to insert a keyframe. I'm going to insert a blank keyframe after that. And then create a class between. And now that last keyframe, I'm going to move the bubbles up. And I'm going to have them move a little bit over to the right since the fish is moving as well. These might have a little bit of movement on them left to right. And now I need to create my mask. I'm going to insert a keyframe. Insert a blank keyframe. At the end, come back to our first keyframe. And here I'm just going to take the rectangle tool. I need to unlock my mask. And let's draw a rectangle. This is going to encompass the area of the bubbles. And I'm going to make sure I get it large enough. So I'm going to stretch it out a little bit here to the left. So there's our mask. It's going to end at the water line. Let's test our animation. Air bubbles coming from the floor. Air bubbles coming out of the fish's mouth. And our animation loops seamlessly.